So hi everyone, welcome to the second part of our following NPC tutorial. Now last time I showed you how to code your NPC to follow you and now I'm gonna tell you how to make your NPC actually move and display animations as it walks around. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is bring a cinematic sequence device into the scene. Then anywhere you want, create a level sequence and open it. So here's where we're gonna be animating a character. First off, let's click on the track button and actor to sequencer and go select your NPC. So once you have it, you're gonna see an animation and a transform section. You can go ahead and delete the transform section. And inside our animation, just click on add animation and select your running or walking animation. Now down here, if you click on the play button, you're gonna see the animation and then you're gonna see how it stops. That's because the duration of our sequence is longer than the duration of our animation. To fix it, just come right here and drag this red line until the end of our animation. Now when you click on play again, you'll see how it stops just as the animation ends. Now we can go ahead and save the sequence. And now we can go back to our cinematic sequence device. And now set the device's sequence as the one you just created. Now because our NPC might be walking for a long time, we have to make sure that the loop playback option is turned on and the restore state as well. What the loop playback option will do is that once our animation ends, it's gonna begin again. And what restore state does is that once our animation is stopped, any changes made will be reset. So in this case, whichever animation the NPC had before is going to keep playing. Now that I mention it, let's add an idle animation for our NPC. Now go ahead and select your NPC. And inside the animation section, you might see that there is nothing there. If this happens, what you have to do is close the sequencer tab. And as you can see, now we have our animation section. Now whichever animation we place here is the animation that's going to be the default. So I'm going to place the idle animation. We're gonna keep the looping option as true and playing as true so that it starts playing as soon as the game starts. Now with this being done, all we have to do is go back to our script and finish up our NPC. So the first thing we have to do is we have to set a reference to our cinematic sequence device, just like this. And then what we're gonna have to do is that just before our NPC starts moving, we're gonna play a running animation. Now remember that the move to function yields the execution of the code until NPC reaches its final position. That means that if we stop our animation just after we call the move to function, the animation won't stop until our NPC actually stops moving. And this is basically all the code we have to change. Now back in the editor, build your burst code and selecting your device, don't forget to reference your walking or running animation. And that's it, let's go into the game. Now as you can see, our NPC is making an idle animation instead of doing a T-pose. And if we walk away, while it moves, it's gonna do our walking animation. And that's it, just as simple as that. So what took a long time to upload this video because I've been doing some stuff these days, but I promise I figured out how to make our NPC follow selected paths and I'll be uploading those videos as soon as possible. I'm gonna try to keep any updates in my Twitter account. And with that being said, if you have any suggestions or questions, just leave them in the comments. Thank you.